Carl, when we say art in the broader sense, uh, all kinds of art, we immediately think of the creative process. Uh, from your work in film, what can we learn about the creativity needed in art that is maybe distinctive in film that would be different because of its multimodal, multi-sensual um, um, aspects that would be different than in painting or sculpture or music? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that there are some aspects of uh, working in film that would be similar to painting, sculpture, or music, but, uh, but, but film brings together uh, people with many, many different skills and talents and uh, capabilities and puts them all together to build something which some people have compared to a cathedral. Mm. Uh, and that's because there are, there are many workers that involved in a film and, and there's only, only one or two or three or four who really need to keep the whole finished product in mind from beginning to end. The rest of them are mostly concerned with with their corner of the production, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So that, that makes make, making a film into a, well, to make a good film, somebody said, is almost like a, a kind of a miracle, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think that when you, when you talk about the creative process in, in relation to films and, and stories, uh, there's always a combination of uh, human imagination that goes into the making of a film. Um, you know, how to p combine certain colors, how to light uh, a character, uh, how to end a story, mm -hmm. what to tell the story about. Mm. Um, all of those things are creative. Um, it's fiction, right? Um, but at the same time, um, I've just been exploring uh, fantasy films and uh, specifically superhero films. And what I'm interested in is the degree to which these films, which we consider to be fantasies, they're so far from our normal mm. quotidian reality, are thoroughly infused with ordinary assumptions about what the world is like. Um, I, I'm thinking of an example right now from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, <laughs> which you may not have seen. But there's a scene in which all of the characters in Guardians of the Galaxy, I think only one of which is a human being, <laughs> but they're all you know characters, right. persons. They're sitting around a room and they're talking about a plan that they're going to make. And uh, I invited a colleague who, who uh, talks about uh, communication to, to look at the scene, and it followed all of the protocols that humans have for how they make plans, and how they question each other's plans, and how they uh, try to develop the plan, make it into something better. That's just one small example. I mean, even, even the most creative work of art. Has to have hooks to our reality, it, or yeah. it won't have the impact. That's exactly right, yeah. that's exactly right, yeah. Yeah. Well, look, that, that makes sense. But yet film is, is, an, is a very modern art form that combines all of the, the different kinds of art that have been, that have been developed over, over millennia. Mm -hmm. And so what, what does that mean? I mean? What does that mean? Yeah, in terms of, in terms of the, the, is this an evolvement of art? Is this a Hegelian uh, progression that... Uh, other art forms have now reached their, uh, their pinnacle in, in film, uh, done well? Well, I, I suppose you could say that. I, I wouldn't ever want to... I'm not to... saying that. I'm no, no, no. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, well, I, I suppose one could say that. Yeah. And uh, I wouldn't say that myself. What I would say is, is that the development of film relies on contemporary technologies. And that, I mean, even the earliest films didn't give us the sort of the multi-sensory experience that we have now. They were silent. Sure. And they were black and white. Right. And uh, now we're developing 3D. Uh, we're developing all, all kinds of techniques that seem to bring us closer to natural perception, to the way that we experience the world normally, um, cognitively and emotionally. And the ultimate development, of course, will be storytelling in um, virtual reality. Uh, where we'll have interactive uh, ways of, inter of, of interacting and, and sort of changing the narrative as it goes along. And all of that, it strikes me, brings us closer and closer to sort of what you might call our, our natural everyday conscious experience in one regard, and that is that it, it's, it replicates certain aspects of that experience. But it's still going to be a formed, uh, carefully constructed uh, prompt for that experience 
informed by someone else with a with a very clear idea about what she or he how she or he wants you to respond, uh, what kind of emotions you ought to be having or you're intended to have, what kind of thoughts you you should be having, etc. So, because of the complexity and the technology of film, do you see um, an evolving of the kind of the creative talents that you need uh, when we look at great art from the Renaissance or great romantic symphonies from the 19th century? Uh, they each have a, an overwhelming creative uh, aspect behind it. Uh, but do you see film? taking those kinds of genius and to, to, uh, uh, to another level? No, I don't. I mean, I, I see, again, I, I would go back to the metaphor of the, of the cathedral, where there, you, you needed to have a project manager, let's call this person, uh, who keeps track of everything that's going on and who assures that you know, what the bricklayers are doing conforms to the overall ideas that the architect had and uh, and whoever else is in charge of building the cathedral, but the project manager doesn't know how to, doesn't know how, how to lay bricks. Doesn't have to know that. The project manager doesn't know how to do stained glass windows. Um, mm. So I think it's the same thing in film. A director uh, has mm. to have a synoptic idea of of the entire project and its sort of uh, parameters artistically. Mm. But the director doesn't need to know how to operate a camera necessarily. I mean, some do, of course. Uh, the director doesn't need to know how to edit. Uh, the director needs to know how to understand an edit once it's been made and how to suggest revisions. But uh, so uh, I don't see it, I don't see the, the, uh, the overarching vision as changing all that much from other sort of complex art forms like, like uh, the cathedral or like staging a play, for example. Uh, mm. Technologically much more sophisticated, but the director doesn't really have to understand all of that technology necessarily. Yeah.